Hey everyone, welcome to Think Plants. Not a company, but a marketing platform that markets and promotes a consolidated supply chain of perennials from multiple companies. Come follow me, let's take a tour and see what's growing on. Achillea summer drift from Danziger forms a nice large mound in the garden, as you can see. It's great for perennial large spaces in the landscape. It's fast to bloom and will be covered with fully double white blooms. It can also be used in mixed perennial containers. Uh, the Stanziger variety is a first year to flower type. It is zone five hardy and it needs to be grown outside in high light. Next we have Agastache Sunny Spark series from Danziger. We have Sunny Sparks Orange Glow and Sparks Pink Glow. Orange Glow has bright orange blooms forming on a well-branched mounding habit and the Orange Glow is quick to bulk and come into flower. It is a first year flowering type, hardy to zone six, and great for the landscape. Pink Glow also falls in suit with the Orange Glow in habit and stature. It just has beautiful light pink flowers. Another great way to add some soft color to the landscape. Pink Glow is also first year flowering type and hardy to zone six as well. From Danziger, we have the Solana series. The entire series is awesome. With uniform habit and continuous flower power in all of the colors, you cannot go wrong with Solana. This year, we have three colors in our trial garden. Solana Bright Touch, Golden Princess, and Sunset Burst. Introduced in 2018, the Solana Bright Touch has an obvious uniform, compact and mounting habit with small foliage, and when it's in bloom, it's covered with large yellow flowers with red center highlights. The Bright Touch is hardy to zone four, first year flowering, and will continue to bloom throughout the season. Solana Golden Princess is a new addition to the series for 21. It has small semi-double yellow blooms on a compact habit. This is great in quartz or gallons. It is a first year flowering type and hardy to zone four. As you can see, Solana Sunset Burst is a little bit later to flower than the other two varieties. It is also new to the series this year and has large yellow flowers with brushed red highlights on a nice mounded habit. Just like the other Solanas, it is first year flowering and also is hardy to zone four. Next we have Dianthus Delilah series from Danziger. The Delilah series are very quick to bulk and bloom with no need for fertilization. All these plants in the garden were transplanted into two and a half quarts in week nine. We are currently in week 26. So they have filled and have been in flower now for a very long time. They have nice compact habits. They smell wonderful. And we are showcasing four different colors in the garden this year. We have bicolor magenta and bicolor purple, which are earlier to flower. And then we have magenta and purple, which are just as great, just extends the season out a little bit longer. They work well in quartz or gallons and they're first year flowering party to zone four. With breakthrough breeding on summer flowering iris, the first flush lavender from Danziger will bloom from early spring well into the summer months. With light lavender blooms, hardiness to zone five, and first year flowering abilities, the first flush lavender is an easy way to extend your iris season. Another great perennial from Danziger are the Leucanthum Lucille series, which requires no vernalization, making it very early to come into bloom. Uh, the plants in our garden were transplanted from liners in week 12. So the plants you're looking at have currently been growing for 14 weeks and are on the verge of flowering. We're showcasing two colors this year. We have the Chic and Lucille Grace. As you can see, both have great habits and are hardy to zone four. Danziger has a new addition to the Apex series of Salvia called Apex White. The white rounds out the color palette, and now there's a white, pink, and blue, all with the same habit and timing. The plants in the garden were transplanted from liners in week 15, so these plants have actually been growing for just 11 weeks, and they look great. It has a long flowering window and continuously blooms all summer. It's compact, quick to fill a pot, and comes into bloom fast. It is hardy to zone five. A uniform and mounding companionla from Syngenta the Caribou Forte Blue is a new addition to the series, offering a larger and more vigorous growth habit than the Early Blue. The Forte Blue has large, rich, blue star-shaped flowers that bloom early, giving it a quick production time, a long retail shelf life, and is hardy to zone four. 
From Syngenta, the Campanula Spring Bell 2.0 Dark Blue is a new color addition to the Spring Bell 2.0 series. With the addition of the Dark Blue, the series now has three colors, Dark Blue, Blue, and White. It has a nice compact habit, it's a heavy bloomer, and it's hardy to zone five. This works great in both quarts and gallons. A new addition to the Western Star series from Syngenta is the Gemini. It has compact habit and yellow buds that will transition to white blooms, which is really cool. They have ch low chill requirements and are zone for hardy. We actually planted these from a liner in week 12, and so 14 weeks later, you have plants that are perfectly mounted and ready to flower. So we did have a cool spring, but low chill requirement indeed. Next, we have the Day Series from Unix. It's a new still bee bred for containers and high flower count that blooms in the late spring. Today we are showcasing Lucky Day that has rich dark pink blooms, the light pink flowering Lovely Day, Happy Day that blooms white and is gorgeous with those red stems, Sunny Day, and Wonderful Day that has pink blooms. Pick any color and you are sure to have a great day. They are zone three hardy and great in gallons. New to the Kudos series from Terra Nova, Kudos Red has bright red large blooms on a nice compact habit with a long bloom time that lasts from spring through fall. It is free flowering, well branched and hardy to zone five. One of my favorite Agastache from Terra Nova is Morello. It has rich burgundy pink blooms on this gorgeous blue-green foliage. The large blooms and striking color make for a stunning display. Like the Kudos Red, it is free flowering, well branched, and hardy to zone five. Another really cool variety from Terra Nova is this Nepeta Purple Haze. It is a mat forming type with silver foliage and spikes of purple blue flowers that cover the entire plant. It's long blooming and wild, and also hardy to zone six. This could potentially make a very interesting hanging basket, definitely amazing planter, and more suitable for one and a half gallon pots. Thanks everyone for taking a tour of Think Plants Garden with me. If you guys have any questions about any of the plants you saw today, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.